Plaintiff Terrence Garden says the defendant was his roommate and he's so jealous that he falsely accused Terrence of having sex with his girlfriend. Terrence insists he never wanted the defendant's girlfriend because he has a girlfriend who's with Terrence in court today. Terrence is suing for stolen property and rent. Defendant Daryl Gast admits that he confronted Terrence about his girlfriend, who is with Daryl in court, because he saw text messages from Terrence in her phone. Daryl's countersuing because he claims Terrence continues to harass him and slander his name. Start with you. Judge, Daryl Gatsby is very jealous and really like, he accused me of sleeping with his girlfriend and I told Daryl I do not want this girl. You know, I got my girl here that I've been with for eight when years. When did he, he accuse you of that? Girl. When did he accuse <laughs> you of that? He accused me of that like two months after we moved into our apartment, sir. You never confessed to such a thing? No, sir. I okay. never, never what slept made him, with him think that that was the case? Basically, he said I'd be licking at his girlfriend. Did and his girlfriend know. say it happened? No, she never said it happened. But he told you he believes it happened. Right. He believed it happened, right. right. You told him you believed that happened? I, I just asked him like a man. I say, Terrence, what's really going on? I mean, I seen you. Well, I didn't see you. I said, I seen a text message in her phone that had said, where are you? He doesn't have my girlfriend. Okay, no so this is a very simple question for her as right. well. Right. Did you say, did you sleep with my roommate? Did you ask her? Yeah, I mean, she right here. What you did she say? No, oh, I she don't said she no. ain't my girlfriend. Oh. I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't care who she sleep with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did yeah. you ask her yeah. while you yeah. were asking? Yeah, what I she asked say? her. She said no, but you know, I had to ask him about it. He got all, man, don't try me like that. So and... you weren't sure when your girlfriend exactly, said no. Yeah. You and thought I she might have been lying. Right, but I asked him as well. I'm, I'm not right. going to just ask her, I'm going to ask both of them. Correct. You're not going to ask her, both right, because she'll lie in a minute. Right. right. All right. So, so when you I must asked have thought, it, So you must have thought that she would lie in a minute. All right. When I asked him about it, he want to get all macho, oh, man, you trying me like that. That's a heck of an accusation. Yeah, and I would kind of get upset with you, too. I mean, but somebody yeah. questioned me about that. My roommate come up to me and say, are you sleeping with my woman? I said, man, where you getting this from? You done lost your mind. Did you apologize to him? No, I apologized to him because how do he came at me after the fact? How the way I came at him was I said about the text message. He just got all macho with me, like... I mean, I just came at you like a Excuse man. Excuse me, Judge. If a man come up to you and approach you and ask you how yeah, you slept with his girlfriend, woman, you're supposed his to wife. feel like... No, yeah, you're supposed man, to feel like... like you, be you like, what's really wrong with you? Me. Yeah, yeah like, you, you better you, go you, talk you to know, your woman. We better than that. <laughs> and like I tell him, you can't... You know, you're supposed to approach your woman if your woman wearing short stuff around the house and stuff like that. You approach her, not a man, Your Honor. Yeah, but the whole... This is... <laughs> But this is a lot different than her wearing shorts. This is her allegedly sleeping with you. So I would think once he got from her, particularly since he's still with her, he must have believed her, right. um, that he would drop it and come back to you and say, hey, roommate, buddy, I talked to my woman and she said no. So um, I might have been out of place. I see why you got upset. Well, you think he's going to say, oh, no, I didn't sleep with your woman. <laughs> And just be cool with it? No, not now, like that, but... man would get upset. You accuse him of something like that. But you they getting too macho and too loud well, tone with to me. Be, you yeah, he be loud. That. But you don't got to be like that. Man, you ain't get out of my face. <laughs> talking about sleeping with your woman. Don't nobody want your woman. I got my own woman. <laughs> That's what I would say. If I wanted your woman, I'd have. I'd take her from you. <laughs> That's what I would say. All right, let's get back on this. Um, so that's what happened to your relationship. How did your relationship end? He, like, he kept accusing me. So then, like, it came, like, one month, I just was so built up, you know, tired of, like, trying me or whatever. He approached me again, so I pushed him out my face. And this time he came towards me, I swung, but I missed. And then he just started rapping, like, what he gonna do? And he gonna do this to me and all that there. So I just said, I'm gonna be the bigger person and just walk away. You moved out? No, nah, I ain't move out. I just okay. went to go stay with my mom, you know, to let stuff die down. Good, smart. Let's get to the lawsuit, stolen property and rent. How does he owe you for that? Okay, um, the 17th of November, me and Darry had gotten into the altercation. Of what year, 14? Yes, 14, mm -hmm. sir. So November 20th, I came home from work and my property was missing. He had, like, stolen a stereo system in a bedroom set, sir. And did what with it? 
I don't know what he did with man, it. I but when I called it. him, Hold when on, I called sir. him, and he picked up one time, he was like, "Man, don't call this phone back." So I just kept, 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 kept calling him. Man, you harassed. And then his girlfriend ended up saying that you know Dara took the stuff, and she was sorry about like what happened. And when you spoke with him about it, what did he say? He just I said, "Don't call this phone back." Let's no hear from you, sir. It was one day when him and his girlfriend were getting into it. That stuff that he said that I took, mm -hmm. he he really didn't want. He told me that I can have that stuff. That was out in the rain, him and his girlfriend out arguing one day. So that stuff that he said that he didn't want, I took it. What did you do with it? I, I sold it. Well, well, really, my girlfriend daddy helped me sold it so I can get some money. So yeah, I did take it. But he said that he didn't want it before when all this had got into it. He said it. you can have it. Yeah, he said, yeah. Why do you think he's suing you for it today then? I don't know, I guess because somebody told me I got some money for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah, know. I'm a hardworking man. Why would I give a man something that I purchased? Mm -hmm. Your counterclaim for one thousand is for defamation. What is? How does he owe you? Just how do you just keep aggravating, calling my phone, telling me what you gonna do, telling other people what you gonna do? Is what do you tell other people? Like how you gonna beat up on me? You mm -hmm. gonna do this? You gonna do that? I mean, you told me that I can have these things way before mm -hmm. all this even happened. Cause you and your girlfriend would get into it. it was things was outside. Only one who put the stereo in the bedroom set back inside the house. Mm -hmm. Cause it was outside the house. I'm guessing that was her things, to be honest. I don't know. A lot of things he doesn't know. <laughs> <The honor. laughs> that go on in his household. Yes. Why would you give somebody something that keeps accusing you of sleeping with their girlfriend? Just why? Everything you're saying is making sense. Everything he's saying is not making sense. <laughs> uh, absent any independent evidence, I must go with the credibility of the testimony. Your testimony is unbelievable and unreasonable. His is very credible and reasonable. Your claim is granted $3,600. Him saying that he gonna come and get you, that's not uh, any false statement that he made up to hurt your reputation. That's a threat. And thank God he came and got you and brought you to me. I applaud you for doing no violence. You went to your mother's to cool off. You went to your mother's to cool off, and you came here to get justice instead of taking it out on him. 3,600, it's your judgment. Yours is dismissed. Have a good day. Man, the man just a snake, man. He want my girl the whole time. I mean, he's... Say my girl was walking around with shorts. Both our girls was walking around with shorts. So now I'm just give you the right to always say little slick stuff all the time. He just a little snake. It is what it is, you know.